iPadOS 15 is here. There are some settings you need to turn off immediately. Let's start with the one that Facebook absolutely hates. Let's open settings. It's a little gear icon there in the bottom. And I'm gonna scroll down to privacy. And let's just tap on tracking. tracking. Boom. Allow apps to request to track. Do you want apps like Facebook tracking you across your iPad as you use it? All right, it's gonna track you. It's gonna be like, oh, you're over here in this game, well then you must like this game. Let's give him ads about that. Facebook hates this so much that they took out full page ads in the New York Times and a whole slew of other newspapers saying that this setting was actually for small businesses and the rest of us just didn't understand. So you got a couple options here. You can mm -hmm. turn it off for a specific apps mm -hmm. like Facebook, or you can just turn off this switch entirely. Ask apps to stop tracking. Boom. Now no apps can even ask you if you want to allow them to request a track. It's right. Just shut them all out. Shut them out. Facebook hates this, but we like this. Facebook hates this. If you like this video, quick thumbs up. We'd really, really appreciate it. We like that. Let's tap back to privacy. Okay. And let's tap on location services. Location services is one of the most fun sections and most important sections of the settings app because of the effect it has on battery life. So the thing to watch out for in this section are apps with always next to them because that means it can use your location all the time. Let's go on here to Google Home. Oh, geez. Always? I don't even use Google Home. I'm just gonna change it to while using the app. So if I ever do decide to use it, then it can use my location for whatever reason. Let's look yeah. for other ones. Spectrum TV, always? Nope. How about while using yeah. the app? And the combination really to look out for here is always plus precise location. Precise location uses more battery. Yep. And why does Spectrum TV have to know exactly? Because they want to know where zip code I'm in to see if it's blacked out, whatever, who cares? Turn it off. Yeah, so look out for those always apps. Go in, allow while you know using the app. It's totally right. fine. Totally fine. So system services, step on that next. Oh. Purple arrow, that's scary. Yep. So here you have a whole bunch of system services. We want to turn off a lot of these. And it's scary because a purple arrow means it's using your location right now. Yeah, so we're going to leave on emergency calls and SOS. Find my iPad. I think that would be it. Boom. Location for networking and wireless may affect Bluetooth and Wi-Fi performance. Also, not going to. Because a lot of these have to do with the different configurations like for networking or Wi-Fi networks in different countries. So if you're not leaving the United States, you don't need to have this on. Yep, same thing for setting time zone. You can just turn the switch on when you travel to a different time zone. Your time zone will update, turn the switch back off. It doesn't need to be doing this all the time. Right. We'll step on significant locations next. Oh boy. Here's a list of all the places you go most often <laughs> right. with your Zero iPad. records. I turned this on yesterday yeah. so that we could show you how to turn it off. Yeah, just tap that switch, turn it off. Battery drainer, I mean, it's it, it's weird. I don't know if it's actually a privacy issue for people, but it's, it's I don't like the list and it, yeah, it's, it's, it's more of a battery it's, drainer than a privacy thing. Indeed. It used to be called frequent locations and Apple was like, wait a minute. Yep, people didn't like that idea. Under product improvement, turn those right off. Routing, traffic, status bar icon on the bottom, bonus tip, turn it on. I would anyway. That gives you this little arrow in the upper right hand corner of the screen, which tells you when your iPad is tracking your location. If you see that arrow all the time, it could be the reason why your iPad battery is not lasting all that long. Yep, if you like that bonus tip, hit subscribe. We yeah. got a lot, of, a lot of great regular tips too on this channel. Let's go back to the main page of privacy. Back. Tap analytics and improvements. Boom. Turn these off. Apple can improve their own products. This is battery and a little bit of cellular data too. Sure does. Are they paying you for this? Nope. You're paying them. Exactly. Top switch turns them all off. Turn them all Bang. off. Bang. It's Easy. a master switch. Let's head back to privacy again. Boom. Let's tap on Apple advertising. Hmm. Personalized ads. I like to turn this switch off. Yeah, me People too. will say that, oh, you're going to see the same number of ads and they're not going to be as relevant to you. Right. Well, if advertisers have less information about you, you're a less valuable advertising target. They might not even show you ads. Additionally, it will still target you based on, well, not you specifically, but based on the context of what you're looking at. So you might actually see more relevant ads. For instance, if you're reading an article about computer batteries, you're not gonna see an ad for Cancun because you were on Airbnb yesterday. You're gonna see an ad for computer batteries because that's what they have to go on, the contextual data, not the personal data. So turn it off, you'll be fine. That's it for the privacy section, but we have a lot of more tips to get through. Let's tap on App Store, one below privacy. Boom, App Store. In-app ratings and reviews. The most annoying thing, 
I downloaded this app and it immediately asked for a five star rating. I haven't used the app. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know? Yeah, if it's good or not. I, I just think it's annoying that these pop up every once in a while. But what's not annoying is subscribing to this channel. Yeah. Tap that switch, turn it off. Those pop-ups are gone. See you later, pop-ups. I also like to turn off bonus tip apps at the top mm -hmm. under automatic downloads because that would automatically download the app on your iPad if you download it on your iPhone. For me, I like to keep them a little bit separate. I used to have this on and then my iPad filled up with apps. Yeah, I have that same problem. When I first got my iPad, mm -hmm. it just, I didn't turn off that switch. It got messy and I still, still hasn't fully recovered from that. Next, let's tap on home screen and dock on the left there. Yeah. And we are going to turn off show app library in dock if you want that. iPad OS 15 introduced the app library to iPads. By default, this switch is on and in your dock on your iPad if we go back you'll see there is yeah. our app Oop. library. There it is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really useful, but I think some people just don't want to use the app library, so. I prefer using Spotlight, which would just be swiping down from the middle and just typing in the app that I want instead of using the app library, which of course also gives you the ability to search, but it's a couple extra taps. Yep. Up to you. Up to you, and I think right now for people, uh, you can't really customize the app library, so it's not particularly more useful than Spotlight. I think Spotlight's faster and easier. I'm just, I'm an old school guy, I'm a Spotlight guy. Give me a spotlight. Next, let's talk about push mail, gigantic battery drainer. Right, pushy, mail. Tap on mail, tap on accounts, then tap on fetch new data. Turn off that switch at the top of the screen. Right, this is one of the things that we know for sure is a giant battery drainer, not just on experience when I was at the Apple store. With push mail on, your iPad maintains a connection to your email server. And it's saying, is there mail? Is there mail? Is there mail? Is there mail? So you do get instant updates if you're in a different app. But if you don't need that, you can save a lot of battery life by switching from push to fetch and then have it fetch every 15 minutes. And we should say that if you open the mail app, it's going to get that mail for you. So it's not like Instantly. You, it's not like you have to wait 15 minutes every single time if you're waiting for an email. Just open the app and there you go. It loads. There you go. Most people don't notice the difference. It's only if you're in a profession or something where you need that notification immediately where you'd want to have push on. Yeah, let's go to Safari in the settings app. All right, so we're gonna scroll down to Safari. Tap on that. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is preload top hit. This is more of an issue with iPhones with cellular data plans because it's loading that web page. Might right. not need to use a little bit of data. Also battery life though. Battery life too. So if you turn that switch off, it'll just load when you tap on the link after right, you so Google search. Right, so you're, you're on a Google search it thinks you're going to go to the first result, so it starts loading that page that you haven't clicked on yet. Yep. Yeah, can drain battery life. So turn it off. Yep. Yep. And then scroll down. Oh, we don't need to scroll down. It's right there. Close tabs. Close tabs. Let's tap on that. So I am a person who He's leaves a, open my tabs a tab all hoarder. the time. Tab hoarder. And yeah. I just switched this to after one month. Otherwise, I can end up with hundreds of tabs. This will automatically Sometimes close the same your, page. Sometimes, a lot of times, the same page. It's mm. almost, you know, I got 25 ESPN MLB standings pages on my iPhone. It's important. So this will automatically close those tabs after one month. You're not going to miss them, I promise. Nope. And you can always go back to ESPN.com. Next up, it's a classic battery saving tip. Background app refresh. Let's tap general. Up to the general. Tap on background app refresh. And here you go, a list of apps. The ones where the switches are on, these apps can download new content in the background of your iPhone. Right. Battery issue. Now we've been telling people to turn this off for 10 years. We got a sentence. Turning off apps may help preserve battery life. Thanks, Apple. About, we've been, you know, we know. About darn time. Yeah. So, so let's go through this list of apps. Do you want Airbnb downloading new content in the background of your No, iPhone? how about it'll just download when I open the Airbnb app? All right, how about uh, chess? Nope. Books? Nope. Apple Store? Nope. For most apps, the answer is going to be no. Obvious exception here is messaging apps. You want those messages downloading in the background, open the app, and they'll be ready to go. Snapchat. Want to leave that Snapchat. off. I don't use Snapchat, I mean, but if I did... Slack? Yeah, Slack. Yes. Slack is a business app that we use internally. There you go. Yeah. You could try it too. Not with us, because it's private. If you've enjoyed these tips, please consider joining this channel. Like these great people. Alongside these folks. If you join this channel, early access to videos, people got to see our iOS 15 battery tips early. They got to win a four pack of AirTags. And some headphones, headphones Discord yeah. access. stuff away. Yeah. Whole bunch of great perks. And uh, you also get some shout outs. So right. I'll, let do you you, wanna... I'll let you hold it. And okay. You can go ahead. So I get to do everything. Great. Christy Tustin. Tustin. 
She's got the Irish American thing. I like that. Uh, Jill, Madeline R. Madeline's very active. Thank you, Madeline. Mrs. C in Coldwater has got to be like maybe our most active subscriber or joint member. Member, it's called. Thank you, Mrs. C. You are an absolute pleasure to deal with. Not to deal with, to really. <laughs> to deal with. That's really not the right thing to say. You know what I mean. All right. She's gracious, too. Scott Campbell, also a fan. And Michael Lynch. There you go. David's dad. Please. My parents don't love me enough to join. Please or they don't know what it means. Please so. consider joining this channel. Lots of awesome perks. You also, I think your dad could probably upgrade like to a David Plus That's membership. Good, yeah. Can we, t you know? Give this video this a thumbs is your up son. If you enjoyed, subscribe to this channel for more great iPad videos. Thank you.